So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about direct variation. Let us solve the given proportions. 5 over 2, it is equal to 50 over x. We need to solve for the value of x. Let us multiply both sides with 2x. If we multiply both sides with 2x, so cancel 2, so that becomes 5 times x, that is equal to 5x. And then if we multiply this on the right side of 2x, cancel x, 50 times 2, that is equal to 100. Afterwards, let us solve for the value of x. Let us divide both sides with positive 5. So that becomes 5x divided by 5 and 100 divided by 5. So it means cancel 5 and 5. So x, 100 divided by 5, that is equal to 20. So x equals 20. How about number 2? x over 3, it is equal to 8 over 2. So, let us multiply both sides with 6 because 3 and then 2. So, 6. 6 divided by 3, that is equal to 2. So, it means 2 times x, that is 2x. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So, 8 times 3, that is equal to 24. Afterwards, let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of x, so that is 2. So cancel 2 and then 2, that is equal to 1. So x is equal to 24 divided by 2, that is equal to 12. So x equals 12. How about number 3? 2 over 3, it is equal to x over 7. So let us multiply 3 times 7, that is 21. So 21 divided by 3, that is equal to 7. So 2 times 7, that is equal to 14. 21 divided by 7, that is equal to 3. So it means 3 times x, that is equal to 3x. Afterwards, let us divide both sides with positive 3. So the numerical coefficient of x, that is 3. So divide both sides by 3. So cancel 3 and then 3. So it means x is equal to 14 over 3 or 14 over 3 it is equal to x. So pwedeng isulat siya ng x is equal to 14 over 3 or 14 over 3 it is equal to x. So what could be the meaning of the direct variation or direct proportion? It is a relationship between two quantities, x and y, where x, if that x increases, also y increases. If x decreases, also y decreases. The ratio between them is constant or the same for all given values of the variables. How to read this one? Y equals kx. So y varies directly as x. Y varies proportional as x. So as you can see, we have the word y varies, the word is directly. So k, that is the constant of variation. Define a variable to be used and set up an equation for the following variation. So the distance d traveled by a car varies directly as the time t. So the equation d, it is equal to always write k for the constant of variation times t. How about number 2? The grade g of a student is directly proportional to his effect m in studying his lesson. So it means g, it is equal to k times m. How about number 3? The salary S of a lawyer depends on the number of hours H devoted to work. So S is equal to K times H. Next, how about number 4? M varies directly as N. So it means M 
it is equal to k, k as the constant of variation times n. Last for number 5, p is directly proportional to q. So it means p, it is equal to k times q. Given the following numbers, write the value of the constant of variation or k and the equation of variation in the given 2, 4, 8, 16, 20, 14. So this one, 2, 8, and 20, that could be the value of x. And then the value of y, that is 4, 16, and then 14. So the equation y, it is equal to kx. Let us replace any of the point to the given equation. So let us try this one. The value of y, that is equal to 4. So 4, it is equal to k times the value of x, that is 2. Afterwards, let us divide both sides with positive 2. So cancel 2. So 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2, equals k, or k equals 2. So we have the constant of variation now, that is equal to 2. So let us write in the equation. So that becomes replace k by 2. So y, it is equal to 2x. So the equation of variation, that is y, equals 2x. How about number 2? 4, 4, 2, 2, 6, 6. The equation y equals kx. So the value of y that is equal to 4, copy k, the value of x that is equal to 4. To be able to solve the value of k, let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of k, so that is equal to 4. 4 divided by 4, that is equal to k. 4 divided by 4, that is equal to 1. So 1, it is equal to k, or k equals 1. So the constant of variation, that is equal to 1. How about the equation of variation? Let us replace the value of k by 1, so that becomes 1x. So it means the equation of variation, that is equal to y equals x. How about number 3? y equals 7 when x is equal to 4. So let us replace to identify the constant of variation. So the value of y, that is 7, and the value of x, that is equal to 4. So copy the constant of variation. Afterwards, let us divide both sides with positive 4. So cancel 4. So this one, that becomes k. 7 over 4 cannot be divided. So 7 over 4 equals k or k it is equal to 7 over 4. How about the equation? So let us replace k by 7 over 4. So y equals 7 over 4x or y equals 7x over 4. How about number 4? y equals 42 and x equals 6. Let us replace to the y equals kx. y, let us rewrite or write y equals 42 and copy k, x is equal to 6. Afterwards, let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of k that is equal to 6. So cancel 6. So matitira dito, that is 1k or k. 42 divided by 6 is 7. So 7 equals k or k equals 7. So we have now the constant of variation. So the equation of variation, let us replace the value of k by the equation. So y equals 7x. So the equation of variation, that is y equals 7x. Instruction. Given the following value, write the value of the constant variation and the equation of variation. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning! Mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.